One week away from a major vote by JCPS on school bus transportation for the future, and it would start next school year. Hello, everybody. It is our top story tonight at 6. I'm Doug Prophet, working to get students to class on time and then back home sooner. Right now, the school district is considering four options. The first, choosing only to transport students attending at their resides school. The second would create hubs for bus pickup and drop off. The third, keeping things as they are. And then a new fourth option heard for the first time today, providing bus service only to students who meet a threshold of economically disadvantaged students. Well, our senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Emma Gefter have been hearing from the man overseeing JCPS transportation. It all came out at a committee hearing late today and Isaiah is joining us live. Isaiah, did he say which option the district is leaning toward what we could see when that big vote comes? Well, Doug, I can tell you right now, keeping things status quo appears to be pretty much off the table. Chief Operations Officer Dr. Rob Folk sharing a glimpse today of what delays would look like next school year if things stay the same and they continue to offer bus service for all students. Uh, the challenges is we would expect that our clear times would be in excess of 730 given the attrition that uh, we expect to see uh, following our trend data. We're going to arrive late and we're going to leave late every day and the current system will be significantly slower with less projected drivers. Keep in mind the district says the average clear time right now is 7 p.m. Their goal for next year is 6 p.m. To make that happen, Folk is leaning toward the first option. That's the cut bus routes for just over 13,000 magnet and traditional school students, including at manual and mail, specifically the kids who are traveling out of their reside zones to go to these schools. Presents a number of opportunities. It's the only option we've investigated that will put us on the right side of routes and drivers. Uh, if we're on the right side of routes and drivers, that means we're on time, uh, as close to on time as we can be given traffic or other environmental factors. And folks says this will reduce routes by nearly 100, giving drivers more wiggle room to get to and from school in a more timely fashion. Doug, the district made it clear no option is ideal here, and folk even went on to say if the bus driver shortage continues to grow, even that first option might not prove to work very well as far as the, the timely aspect of this. So we'll have to see again that vote, though, the big vote by the JCPS board is scheduled for a week from today. That'll be next Tuesday, March 20th. Doug. Okay, Isaiah, thank you very much. Other cities have been doing it this way for years, so we'll see what happens for Louisville. Big changes ahead.